Welcome back to Turnip Bomb. We're still trying to get out of the forest of seaweed. How do we do it? I sound so excited. Why not Zoidberg? Why not Zoidberg? Um... My famous uncle, Harold, Harold Zoid. There's a light that way, but I think that's where I came from. Oh, maybe I just keep going lower. Maybe. Going down, 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 down. What? I wish it was brighter and we could see things. Yeah, like, I, I'm having a hard time. There's no brightness options, is there? Uh, there's no options. <laughs> that's true. Um... Help me. Oh, they're, I don't see their white thing anymore. They might be gone. I'm really far down, too. Like, how would I even get up? Can you use your circle thing in the air? Oh, if I, like, jump ah, on these clowns. Yeah. This, like, is this where it came from? It might be yes. Yes, it is. For sure? I think so. Shit. Gotta have to find some seaweed. Gotta ride the rocket here. Ride Whee! the rocket power. Yeah, I'm fairly certain this is where we came from. Yeah. And this is where we're going. But then where do we go from So there? I think now now that I know that I can ride them up. Yeah. Oh, uh, here's like, yeah, see, here's, here's some dude. Jellyfish. Some doodads. So there we go. Yeah, so we're going up, not down. I gotcha. We figured it out, and it only took us like two minutes. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you have good game design. Yeah. It's too bad we don't have our friend anymore, though. Yeah, I don't know where that clown went. He probably figured it out way before we did. He was like, freaking idiots. <laughs> Stupid AI. <laughs> <laughs> Man, who makes a game with really stupid AI like this? I'm really blown away that it's real people. I mean, it wouldn't make sense for it to be AI, because, like, you'd think we'd see them a lot more if it was AI. But, like, we only come across them every so often. Well, I just, I don't know. I just didn't know what to well, think. Well, it's like, it's like that other dude. Remember when we, like, got to, like, that point, like, in, like, the second episode, and there was another guy, like, sitting at the thing that we had to get to? Oh, yeah. That was a real person. And then when they were gone, it was because they had left. Oh, yeah. Exactly the cutscene. I just assumed it was some sort of like spirit thing. <laughs> like, yeah. a, you know, because it's so otherworldly. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, so we found out that those things are indeed horrible monsters. They're robots. I knew it. It's a robot. Goddamn robots. Taking our jibs. Oh, my God. That actually freaked me out. Yeah, that startled me. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. We're going to die. Everything floats down here. Oh, it's so serene. Are we under water still? Like, I don't think we're under water to begin with. And no, we were, because the stuff was all floaty. I mean, everything's already floaty. It is pretty floaty. Like, the papers were floating, like, without the water effects. Now there's water here, on the ground. So I guess we're not I don't think water. that's water. I think that's a sh shade, like our light. Yeah, it's, like, a it's like sparkling. That doesn't mean anything. It's light. I guess it's sand. Yeah, it's sand being lit. <gasps> you gotta avoid the light. From that thing. Yeah. Avoid his gaze. Not just light in general. I'd like to clarify that. <gasps> no! The paper! Oh, man. That's really cool. Did it capture the paper? I think it killed it. How did he kill me? That's magic paper. Oh, scissors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. But it beats rock. <laughs> but it's made of rocks. So how did that work? Oh wait, maybe I don't have to go up. There. No, I think I go there to the left. Yeah. This game's so cinematic. It's beautiful. This would be like a great <gasps> short animated it's coming movie. For you. It's coming for you. Run. <laughs> it would be a good like animated movie type thing. But I mean, it's also a great game. Yeah, I think it works better as a game than a movie. Oh, 
like especially like the no communication or dialogue part. Like yeah. you can't really do that in like. I feel like I can hide in here. And then it finds you and then murders you and then we have to do everything all over again. Nope, we're good. Oh, it's weird, like the camera. Can I get out? I mean, you just walk past a door. Yeah, but I want a door on that side. Yeah. Okay, I think you're good. Run! I can't run. Fly, you fools! Oh, oh no, I hate him. It didn't see you. You're good. So why are they active under here, but, like, up top, they're all dead? That's why it feels like we're underwater, because it's like, they're, and there's, the, look at the haze, like, the lights. Yeah, it does very look like it's underwater, but it's like, I don't know, it just doesn't, it also doesn't feel like it. It feels like it to me, like, playing it, because yeah. I feel like I'm walking differently. There's one right there. Yeah. There's like big bird ones. Oh, a thing. Do we risk it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Do we risk it to get the biscuit? You gotta risk it to get the biscuit, yo. Fuck, I want biscuits now. So I can't jump. Like, um, non American biscuits, like British biscuits. So, like cookies. <laughs> I want a chocolate chip cookie. Where was that dumb thing? It was to the right. Oh, uh, well, I gotta go up over this first. To the right, to the right, nothing that you own in a box to the right. Man, I forgot about that song. I just thought of it because I said to the right. Which has nothing to do with the song, so I don't know why it even reminded me of it. There it is. Get your scarfy do up. Yeah, juice me up. And that's this is when we find out that we've been betrayed and this is actually like a beacon to like for them to like go at you. <laughs> like activate. We've been it. betrayed. Activating it, like, because, like, this whole time we're like, oh, it just makes our scarf bigger. Like, it doesn't do anything else. But then this is when we find out that it's actually, like, activates a beacon and they all come for you. <laughs> just summons the monsters. Oh, shit. Hey. No, he saw me. Oh, God, that one's going to see you, too. Yeah! That's awesome! I feel like I was scripted then. <laughs> well, I activated the like, Healy power. Yeah. And then it just like triggered those thingamajigs. Oh, sweet, we're praying. Praying to the wigwams. <laughs> oh, now we're standing next to it. Yeah, we get close. It keeps showing us stuff. I like that we're like a sexy Jawa. <laughs> it does look like sexy Jawa. Oh shit, it's back, to, like, back to the grid. <gasps> They're all dead. Oh no. They're all dead from the Independence Day attack. Technology killed them. It's an allegory. <laughs> it's an Al Gore. Al Gore. It's Al Gore. See, Stop this is what's gonna fun. happen. <laughs> yeah, the environment's gonna kill us. It's an inconvenient truth. <laughs> Isn't he coming out with like a sequel to that called like an, 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 an a super inconvenient truth? <laughs> I thought it was like something stupid, like an an un 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 an unnecessary un sequel. <laughs> oh, it's like he added like like an and like a qualifier to like one of the words. I don't remember. Like an inconvenient near inconvenient or truth I hope it's like I hope it's like an inconvenient truth part two but like part two written in like like cool 80s font so it's oh, like yeah. some sort of like rad sequel like uh Guardians it comes of the in on a fucking yeah it like comes in on a fucking skateboard like <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's gonna be called an climate change is truth. whack I almost became president of the United States and then Florida fucked me over how weird is it that like all the gra- I don't know, maybe you haven't noticed this, but like graphics of movies lately, I've noticed like text as a fair and a trophy. Sweet. Um, graph movie graphics like uh, have been like very eighties ish lately. Yeah. Like not just Guardians because of the whole connection to that, but like, well, it's like Thor Ragnarok's is incredibly eighties. It's like a, oh, it's like yeah. a gradient and shit. Like well, it's know? like um, 
the latest like the last Iron Movie Man movie that came out like the end sequence was like yeah 80s TV show end sequence it's like everything's just going back to like 80s and stuff like that and it's like I think it's because the people making films right now would be nostalgic for that era yeah shit this looks pretty desolate yeah this is what's gonna happen when climate change gets done with us yeah fuck Al Gore thanks for ruining the earth he's trying to help the earth no it was him oh okay he did it see I watched the whole movie David. god damn it Al Gore you hear unconvenient truth unconvenient <laughs> why was that like it it's inconvenient 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 would be like it was convenient then he made it not convenient <laughs> Damn it, Al Gore, and you messing Yo, up my this words. This looks awesome. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. It does. Diz. I am not in a Kingdom good Hearts. place, like verbally today. Next time on Turnabout, we're gonna keep lighting up this fucking tower, Chris Angel ass, <laughs> Chris Angel stage tower.